31. Suppose a rocket ship in deep space moves with constant acceleration equal to 9.8 meters per second square. So the acceleration over here is 9.8 meters per second square, which gives the illusion of normal gravity during the flight. Letter A. If it starts from rest, so the initial speed is zero, how long will it take to acquire a speed of one-tenth that of light? So the final speed is the speed of light over 10. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8. So we have to divide it by 10 and then we get 3 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. So this is the final speed. So in letter A, we want to know the time it took to accelerate to one tenth of the speed of light. So this is a this is a exercise, a problem of constant acceleration. You see that the, the acceleration is constant over here. And if the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. X equal to X zero plus V zero T plus A T squared over two. We can also use V equals to V zero plus AT and V square equals to V zero square plus two times A delta X. So those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant. So let's find out which one we will use. We will use this equation over here, the second one, but uh, let me show you why. Uh, let's just mark the thing is that we don't know over here. So the final speed we know, the initial speed we know, the acceleration we know, and the time we don't know. So if we want to find out the time it took to accelerate to a speed of one tenth of the speed of light, we can use the second equation over here. So that is exactly what we will do. So V equals to V0 plus A times T. So T equals to V minus V0 over A. The final speed is 3 times 10 to the 7. The initial one is 0 and the acceleration is 9.8. So the answer of this is 3.1 times 10 to the 6 seconds. So this is the answer of letter A. Letter B, how far will we travel in doing so? So, so let's see again which equations should we use. In this case, let me get ahead a little bit and I just will tell you that we can use either equations, either equations we, we can use in this case because we already calculated T in letter A. If we didn't have done that, we, we couldn't use the first equation, we would have to use the, the third equation. So let's mark the things that we don't know. I, uh, the, the, the final position, we don't know, that's what we want to calculate, right, in letter B, so we don't know X. The initial X, we can say it's zero. The initial speed, we know. The time it took to do the movement, we know. The acceleration, we know. The time it took, we know. So the first equation, we can use the first equation to find out X. So let's go to the third equation. The final speed we know, the initial speed we know, the acceleration we know, we don't know delta x. So you can see that you can use either equation to calculate delta x. Let's choose the first one. You, you, you could choose the third one if you want. It doesn't make any difference. So x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2. The initial speed is 0, this term goes away. The initial position, let's call it zero. So x equals to a t squared over two. The acceleration is 9.8. T is 3.1 times 10 to the six. Let's square it. And this is over two. And if you do this calculation over here, you would find 4.6 times 10 to the 13 meters and this is the answer of letter B.